Now I'd like to introduce Dr Hartmut Fuengel, Manager of Climate Change Adaptation, ICLE Oceania. Hartmut joined the ICLE Oceania office in April 2008 and has taken on the role of Manager of the Climate Change Adaptation Program at the beginning of the year. Prior to this, Hartmut worked for the ICLE World Secretariat and the European Secretariat in Germany. Hartmut has several years experience as a researcher and consultant in international development, working on local governance, regional development planning, community participation and natural resource management. Given that background, we are very pleased to have Hartmut working here in Melbourne with ICLE Oceania and certainly with his work on ARC and also the Adaptation Toolkit, which he will now present to us this morning. Thank you, Hartmut. Thanks a lot, Martin, and again, thanks to all of you for spending the day with us today. Um, we are aware how difficult it is for you to get out of the office for a whole day, but we do expect that you will get up, uh, go back to your office today with some substantial information about how to tackle climate change adaptation. Now, before I tell you a little bit more about the actual toolkit and the background to the toolkit and ICLE's work on adaptation that um, Wayne has already mentioned, and including our new program, I just want to um, tell you a little bit more about this website, just in one minute. This website has gone live this morning, so you will be able to access the toolkit directly from there. Um, rather than me telling you, uh, spelling out a very cryptic um, website address to you, we thought we'd do that, you know, make that easier for you in that we send you an email tomorrow which includes the link to this website and also a link to the presentations that we have, we have here today for you to access as a PDF. But basically the way the, uh, the, way the website is structured is um, the toolkit core document which you should have on your table as black and white copies. And for those of you who want to have a look at the full toolkit in, in color, we do have a couple of copies here that we'll put out in tea break for you to look at. But there is a, a core document which is called the toolkit and then 14 subsequent documents um, that you can download separately. The reason why they're separate is because some of them are word templates that are practical tools that you can download, print off and start working with or work, work off in an electronic format. And as I said, the website address will be forwarded to you. Now for the next 10 minutes I really just want to give you a bit of background about ICLE's work and how we understand adaptation and Please, again, as was mentioned before, I'm really keen to get into a dialogue about this and I would like to hear back from you what you think about what we're proposing here, both in terms of the toolkit and how relevant it is for you, but also in terms of the new program that we are coming up with. Now, these photos that are on the screen right now, they're all familiar to you and I guess no matter whether you believe that these are symptoms of climate change or not, or whether some people in your communities believe that these are symptoms of it, ultimately you as local councils will have to um, address these uh, symptoms or, or these extreme weather events and um, sort of more long-term trends of climate change and it will be expected of your council um, that you are able to anticipate these changes, that you're able to respond to these changes, that you manage the risks associated with climate change impacts and I will talk more about risk management in a second, but also that you manage to harness the opportunities arising from these processes in a very practical, down-to-earth way that people can relate to. So ultimately, um, a response to climate change and the climate change adaptation program in your council or in ICLE needs to be about helping your communities to deal with the consequences of climate change. I think that is what probably will be expected of local governments. Now, just to um, refer a little bit to the process we've gone through at ICLE over the last two years, or a little bit more than two years now, um, as Wayne mentioned, we had a pilot project with five councils around Australia that ran for a whole year where we tested a methodology, a risk assessment framework, which is now basically contained in the toolkit. Um, and we have a huge amount of learnings from this pilot project. I can't go into detail about all of these, but I just want to point out the five different key areas that we thought are um, probably the ones that pose the biggest challenges to councils trying to um, tackle climate change or to work on adaptation. 
the reason uh, one of the issues is first of all to be able to work uh, on climate change it, it, that's going to be a future directed process so you have to be able to have a clear vision in council as to where you're actually heading to so you may want to look into your vision and when you go into the next cycle of rethinking your vision you might, may want to make sure that that vision actually captures climate change um, aspects of it. Um, the biggest problem, and that was also mentioned before, for Council starting off on this process of visioning and of assessing the context in which you're operating, the context in terms of the particular climate change impacts that you're facing, the biggest problem seems to be that um, we're actually not fully, we're not able to rely on historical or current data, we have to work with projections. And that's a new process for most people involved. To pick a scenario, and I'm sure Ben Preston will talk to us more about that after the tea break, to be able to pick a scenario or a number of scenarios that you think are relevant for you, that um, give you information about the expected impacts and that you can base your decisions on, that's a very critical step and a very big step and a difficult and for some people confusing step. So this is a challenge we're going to have to deal with. Um, Decision-making processes is another area where we saw that councils are facing, facing difficulties. First of all, I mean, a lot of the current existing planning timelines at councils or in most organizations are actually relatively short when you think about the medium and long-term impacts of climate change. So working um, under current work plans and uh, planning timelines is actually not um, most, the most suitable way of dealing with this. So you might actually have to think about a much longer term planning when you look into climate change adaptation as well. There's also the issue of information management. Some councils said to us, look, actually we need more information on, on um, climate change impacts. Others said, we are completely overwhelmed. We are not quite sure. There's so much out there. There are all these reports and now ICLE is putting out another toolkit. What are we meant to do with all that? So data management and information management at council level becomes a critical resource as well. Um, the issues of partnerships, I guess, I think that's something I don't need to point out too much about it you know, here because the, I think the reason why you're here is because you do realise how important it is to engage with um, key external stakeholders on this process and we have members here of Greenhouse Alliances who work on a regional basis of, for, on, on tackling climate change impacts and I think that's what's needed and we have, we have organisations like MAB and VLJ who also link up with um, other levels of government and we try to do that on our, uh, at our end as well. So these are critical partnerships that need to be fostered and need to be um, practical and resulting hopefully in a more unified approach, a more streamlined approach throughout different levels of government. I think the most critical point up here is innovation. Um, when, we, when we went through the pilot project with these councils, there were just a number of points where we sort of hit the wall and where council said, look, actually, we're not able to really deal with this with the current um, management processes we have in place, with the current decision-making processes we have in place. We need to slightly change things. Um, whether that might, may be we need to work on a more collaborative um, basis across units, whether we might, might um, have to involve the politicians at an earlier stage because some of these um, uh, decisions will be fundamentally political, or whether we um, need to maybe, first of all, think about how to communicate about these issues and these expected impacts with the community. All of these aspects require a lot of innovation, and it is obviously innovation something that can't be forced. It's not you can sit down and say, okay, let's now innovate. This is a long-term process that's very much about capacity building, and I think that's where we ethically hope to provide some input for you as well to come up with new modes of operating under the impacts of climate change. So all these learnings um, from this pilot project, I'd be more than happy to talk to you in more detail about the pilot project um, individually in the next few weeks, they all fit into the toolkit. And the toolkit is based on what you see up here, which is a First of all, to start out with a fairly simple risk management process, which I'm sure most of you would be familiar with, or you would have seen a framework like this before, where you start to establish, uh, you start out establishing the context um, under which you're operating, you define or you identify the risks, 
you analyze them, you evaluate them, 